50 trading tips. It's going to be quite a long stream, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Um, good, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, well, I guess uh, we should probably get into it because I'm probably going to be rambling on with, with some of them. Um, if you guys have any questions or want me to stop and go over something, let me know. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So, tip number one. I'm not going to be going one, two, three all the way through. Um, I did have them numbered, but then decided to not do that. Um, but yeah, if you want to know what number this is, just let me know in the chat and I can uh, I can tell you because I can see at the top um, right so this is a tip for traders that struggle with uh, risk man risk management and they can't find an MT4 or MT5 tool to help them with risk right this was me I had you know one of the main reasons I didn't use MT4 was because I didn't have a tool that helped me with risk. So what you can use is CTrader because that has a built-in risk manager for you. Um, you can do, you can use it with percentages, so it's super super easy to use. Um, I actually have a video on how to set up CTrader, um, so you can watch that if you would like to use CTrader. But if obviously if you have risk management tools, then you don't need to. Um, let me also just say, a lot of these tips to begin with are very um, tool-based. Later on in the tips, we get into more um, like trader, I guess, tips. But if you use uh, TradingView, you can flip your charts upside down. So let's say uh, your chart's going from left to right, up, right, you've got an uptrend. You can use, if you hold down Alt and tap uh, or click I on your keyboard, it'll flip it so that now it's going down. So let's say you're a trader that prefers to look for shorts. You can flip it and now you're looking for shorts. Obviously, just remember um, that when you place the trade, you're, it's still long, right? It's only the chart. It's only the charts that flipped, not the whole thing. Um, yeah, so you need to remember that it has flipped. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? How are you? It's good to see you in the stream. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, so, next tip. On TradingView again, you can add sections. So let's say you um, have most profitable and then you have, um, you know, consistently profitable and then uh, needs work or back testing. You can now add sections on trading view to keep all your pairs and all your assets in order. Uh, maybe you want currencies, crypto, stocks and indices. You can now do that. Instead of just having them all in one list, you can separate them. Next one is forget about large profits. I think this is more of a tip for new traders, right? I'm not talking about um, high uh, risk reward trades or um, anything like that. I just think this tips more for the traders that come into trading thinking that it's easy and they want those massive profits. And it's just, I, well, I've found anyway that it, it's just not, um, it's just not a good mentality to have. To, to go for those massive, massive wins. Because whenever I was holding onto them personally, they would go into profit and then flip and just hit stop loss all the time. Um, obviously you can get around that, but um, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna get into that today. So next tip is find a mentor. And I added quickly because I think that the faster that you can get a mentor, the better, really. So, yeah, get yourself a mentor uh, or just get get yourself a trading buddy that can help keep you accountable, maybe point some things out to you. Um, just get another set of eyes, really, on your trading. Uh, number six is 
again for new traders learn first trade second I, this was something that i did not do um i traded first and then learned second and it, you need to just learn first right you just need to put your um dreams aside for one second and just learn to trade before you actually start trading um because if you don't it's just gonna hurt you in the long run um number seven is shut out the noise now i have spoken about this in previous streams um but what i mean by this is don't listen to other traders in terms of their opinion um if a trader is telling you look at this strategy it's amazing or take this trade it's gonna hit tp don't listen to them just ignore them um and focus on yourself next one is now this is obviously strategy dependent and trader dependent but you can use community outlook or uh, daily bias um, now if you're struggling with getting a bias for the day and that's something that you need help for this is something that can uh, obviously help so um, yeah you can use community outlook next one is to master one thing now I don't mean master trading as being one thing. I mean master one strategy on one time frame. Well, maybe not one time frame, but master one strategy on one currency pair. Um, and just completely learn every single possible thing that you can about that thing. And once you've mastered it, then go on to other things. Next one is you can use the compare tool in TradingView to compare currencies. Or let's say you want to compare uh, Euro USD to GBP USD, and you want to see which one's moving and which one's not moving. You can compare them on TradingView and yeah, easily overlap the charts and see which one's moving. Tip number eleven is don't let boredom open trades. This is something that a lot of new traders struggle with. Um, they will sit at the charts, they'll get bored, and they'll just open trades for no reason, just to have a trade open. Um, it's just a, you, yeah, just stop. Just don't let it, don't let it open trades, because at the end of the day, you're just hurting your your account. You're going backwards instead of forwards. Um, number 12. This is going to be a long, long stream. If you guys have any questions or want me to go over anything, um, just let me know. But yeah. So, number 12 is remove jealousy from your trading. What I mean by this is similar to shut out the noise. If a trader is having profits or a trader is going through a winning streak, um, you, you can't get jealous of them and try to copy them because at the end of the day that winning streak is going to end and you know you just need to focus on yourself at the end of the day um, you know just 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 remember that every trader goes or has losers right um, there's no trader in the world that doesn't have a loser so not that I know it. Not not that I know of anyway. Um, so yeah, just just remove jealousy. I know it's hard, but um, just try. So next one. Is long term profit over short term profit. What I mean by this. Is. Would you rather have very 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 short term profit in terms of a month i know that obviously some people are thinking a month's quite a long time it's really not a long time um so would you rather have you know short term profit of a month or would you rather have long term steady profit of 5 10 20 30 40 50 years um i know which one i'm trying to get so yeah i guess that's up to you 
but typically the short term blows up at the end of the day so try and you know change your mindset to a longer term mindset next tip is find consistency in your life now i have spoken about this previously what i mean by this is if you can get consistent outside of trading it's going to help you to find consistency inside of trading i'm not sure if that makes sense um but yeah um next one similar to finding a mentor but i guess the mentor is giving you advice find someone to keep you accountable um and this is you have to be 100 percent open um there's no point you know trying to find someone to keep you accountable but you hide your losing trades or you don't tell them everything that's going on so yeah obviously try and be open with them the more open you are with someone the easier it is for them to keep you accountable at the end of the day hello simbi how's it going how's it going hope you had a good weekend um next tip number 16 so we're you know not even well we're third 15 no here we are um next tip anyway more trades equals less profit now this is something that um a lot of people talk about but not a lot of people do um as in you'll see a lot of people having crazy amounts of trades over a week a month um and they make i don't know whatever percent and it, it's that thing of if you're not in a trade you're not making money and that's the kind of mentality that people have well some people anyway um whereas you, it needs to be if you're not in a trade you're not losing money right so if you're in a trade you're risking money that you could potentially lose whereas if you're not in a trade you can't lose any money so it's a it's a shift in the mindset from um looking for profit to protecting the money that you have um and this is also linking into that as well doing nothing is doing something right because you're you're not taking a trade which is doing something and i feel like a lot of traders struggle with this as well because it's you're used to if you've had a job in the past right if you don't if you don't go to work or you don't work you don't get paid but with trading it's normally the opposite you know if you don't trade you normally get more money in the long run obviously you're not going to be getting any money if you don't take any trades um so there is a kind of um what's the word i'm looking for there is a i don't know i hope you understand what i'm trying to say um you have to take some trades but if you take too many trades it's gonna hurt you next one is give yourself time to learn now going back to the um learn first trade second tip you have to give yourself time right you, you can't expect to go from nothing so basically never trading to making a consistent income i would say in less than a year at the end of the day you have to give yourself time to learn and to get to a level where you can um make a consistent income and the next one again leading on from that is you have to enjoy the process if you don't enjoy the process of getting better every day or every week um you're gonna burn out because if you don't enjoy the failures and you don't enjoy the winners and the the grind i guess of of trading it's going to be very very hard um because there's a lot of ups and downs at the end of the day i also saw this is this is not a tip but it kind of leads on um i saw something that spoke about business in general um and it was basically uh, let 
me get my little drawing tool up. Um, it was so there was there was two um, like wooden things. One of them was oops, that's not going to help, is it? One of them was straight, and one of them was like this, right? Um, and then they they had a ball. And there was like a little ramp at the at the start of both of these, and then they rolled the ball down both of these things. And I think this is a good way to think about trading as well, because if you have, if you don't go through the ups and downs of learning to trade, you're going to get to your end goal. So I guess that's the, oops, that's the end goal. right and you're going to get to your end goal slower than this one because this ball gets to the end faster than the straight um straight line i don't know how it works don't ask me um but uh yeah it did so it's the kind of thing of when you have the ups and the downs in your trading or i guess life in general um, just think of it as when you're on this down there's going to be an up and you're going to get to your end goal every time there's a down it's giving you more momentum to get to the end goal I don't know whether that make, makes any sense next one is to set alerts now this was something that I struggled with a lot um, when I was trading it was place a trade pretty well open the charts place a trade and then check it every three minutes to check if it's done anything that was that was pretty much my trading for a very very long time and once you add the alert in so let's say you entered a trade here and your stop loss is here your tp is here the the stop loss if you add an alert here and you add an alert here. Alert, yeah, alert. You now don't have to check if it's hit TP or it's hit stop loss. Because you know that once price hits the um, alert, you'll get a phone notification or an email or a text or whatever. So there's no need to check it, right? If it hasn't... Um, if you haven't had that notification, you know that it's somewhere in between these two areas and it hasn't hit the alert yet. And then when it does, you'll get the pink. This is so, so good for discipline because if you continue to open your phone or whatever, um, there's a higher probability that you're going to close that trade based on emotion. Again, I've spoken about this before. Have a nutrition and fitness plan. I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, but yeah, I just think that's super, super important. Next one. I have spoken about this, but not for a very long time, actually. Um, generate other income sources. Uh, now, it doesn't need to be a massive income source, right? It doesn't need to be a massive income source. If, for example, you invest 4000 into a stock portfolio. Now I know that might be a lot for people, but just take a zero off, take two zero, zeros off. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, getting a 4% dividend per year, regardless of um, growth, dividend, you're then receiving, receiving per year 40 quid. I think. Yeah, 40 quid. I'm pretty sure. No. <laughs> anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, you'll, uh, you'll get some money, pretty much, if this was a thousand. There we go, thousand. Um, I'm getting the numbers mixed up because I had four in my head. So, 
yeah, you get my point. Um, and even though it's not a lot, it's something at the end of the day. 160. Yeah, I know. I realized. Um, it's because I had 4% in my head, because that's what um, my portfolio gets per year in dividends. So I always just have four in my head whenever I think of a dividend portfolio. So I put um, 4,000 instead of 1,000. Um, but anyway, anyway, you get my point, right? You get my point. <laughs> um, generating other income sources, even though it's a small amount, it helps. It definitely, definitely helps. Because if you lose a trade or you have a down month of a little bit and that's your income, if you have other income sources that generate, you know, not a lot, or not as much as trading does, but, you know, enough, it covers those losses that you might have in trading. Um, next one. I did speak about this again before. Um, and that is to create a nice trading environment. At the end of the day, you don't want to be trading in... I don't know, maybe you have an uncomfortable chair, right? And every single time you trade, it is it you know it hurts your back or um i don't know whatever um you're going to relate trading to that uncomfortable feeling whereas if you um well you're going to relate sitting at your desk with an uncomfortable feeling whereas if you give yourself a nice trading environment or a nice desk or whatever um it's going to be a lot, lot easier to sit there for a long time and put the work in. Um, and even though it is going to cost you some money to get a nice chair, a nice desk, blah, 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 blah. Um, it, it's worth it in the end. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Now, this goes back to um, master one thing. And I, I always say this whenever it comes to new traders. Learn one currency pair or learn one indices, learn one stock. Because if you can master that one thing, you're probably going to make more money than trading 15 other things that you don't really understand. Next one is to create certainty in your trading. And this is something um, that takes time. Um, it takes mastery because if you're not confident in your process of trading, it's very, very hard to create certainty. And obviously you're never going to be 100% certain, but you need to be certain in the process of trading instead of the results of trading. Um, but yeah as much as you possibly can, create certainty. And this is something that obviously everyone kind of talks about, um, but I thought I'd put it in here as well. Thinking percentages instead of pounds or dollars or euros or whatever. Um, you can also think in terms of trades. So I put a video out um, last month, maybe, I don't know. Um, and it was basically a, a different way of thinking about your trades. So you think of it in terms of, I have this many trades, so 20 trades until I blow up or hit my um, max drawdown. I have 20 trades. So if I win a trade, I'm now up to 22 trades or 23 trades. If I lose one, I'm back down to 22, 21. Um, yeah, just don't don't think of it in terms of cash. Um, next one is to take control of your trading. Now, what I mean by this is um, instead of almost blindly going through your trading plan, sit down and write out your trading plan again. Even though you might know it, just write it down. Um, write down your goals, write down your routines, write down your strengths, your weaknesses. Just, you know, grab your, your kind of current trading situation and just, you know, 
put it all on some paper um, because if you don't there's actually a tip later on um, that links back into this but um, what doesn't I think it's what doesn't get no what gets measured gets accomplished something like that um, so yeah just take control of it um, next one is just chill right there's no rush uh, you have time to learn you have time to trade it's probably not going anywhere right I'm not going to say it won't go anywhere because it might but it's probably not going anywhere so trading is hopefully going to be here in 10 50 100 200 years so you have time there's no rush to trade a live account there's no rush to um kind of make x amount of money today and obviously you know someone uh might have people saying that they need to make money today but um you know try as best as you can to not put that much pressure on you to, to make money now obviously some people do uh perform better under pressure so maybe you do want that but just to keep it simple i'm gonna say that you have time right next one is don't make excuses now this annoys me a lot um if if you say you're gonna do something um you better do it at the end of the day um and if you don't do it and whatever you whatever comes out of your mouth after but is just an excuse um like i was going to do it but um so yeah just don't if you give yourself excuses you're not going to get anywhere you have to put pressure on yourself and you have to keep yourself accountable um yeah i'll try not to ramble on about that too much oh no i've messed it up uh, okay whatever um okay so forget the hype and what i mean about this is whenever you see a video or um and the people come into the into the stream chat and say uh, have you heard of Wickoff? Or have you heard of blah 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 blah? It, it's, you know, it, it's it's life changing and it's blah 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 blah. Just ignore it, right? Just ignore it. Um, at the end of the day, you, you have to forget the hype because there's always going to be something new. There's always going to be something that... Um, you know people are excited about it's yeah just forget about the hype i, I don't want to ramble on about that too much as well um next one now this is a little bit some people aren't going to want to do this but um yeah some of you will want to create your own reality what i mean by that is um write down what you want in your future so what what now i posted about this on instagram actually um and it's something that uh bugsy malone did with his um career in obviously rapping and now movies you write down um what car you want what house you want what life you want what relationships you want uh what career you want what clothes you want to wear, what um, type of person you are, and basically everything. You just write it all down. Um, you create your own reality, pretty much. And I, yeah. So some of you are probably probably not going to want to do this, but um, yeah. Now, uh, obviously, I've spoken about this before, but give yourself some slack, right? Some people have a lot of pressure on them to perform, to make money, to provide. Um, and it can be very, very tough mentally. 
So just kind of breathe, you know, take five minutes and chill and just give yourself a little bit of time to relax and not put so much pressure on yourself. It's good to put pressure on yourself sometimes, um, but not all the time, right? You, you want some time where you can just say, relax and, and, and chill. Um, next one, clarify your vision. Now, this is obviously, like I just mentioned, um, talking about writing things down, but this is also more to do with your goals. So writing your monthly, three monthly, yearly, um, five yearly, 10 yearly, 30 yearly goals. Now, obviously those, you know, longer term goals are probably not going to be um, the same in 10 years, but just by writing them down, you're giving yourself a chance to hit it. Um, I can't remember what the stats are around writing things down, um, but I think if you write your goals, or if you write something down where you say, um, this is going to happen in the future, there's a seven, I think it's seven, or it's either it's seven, seven or 70, I can't remember, um, times chance that it's going to happen. I can't remember it. Let me uh, find the video on this before we kind of move on, because um, copy link. Let me send this in the chat. So you can watch that video. Um, it's one of my favorite videos. It's from an NFL coach. Um, and he goes over loads of situations where people have said, I, you know, even bad things like I don't want to, um, I'm okay. I won't say it, but I don't want something to happen to me in X amount of time. And then it happens to them in that. So watch it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it's good. Good. Next one is have high expectations. Now there's two aspects for this. Have high expectations of yourself and of people around you. Um, you, so whatever your expectations are, um, if you expect yourself to do, I don't know, whatever, and um, someone comes along and says, you know, you're not doing as much as you could be doing, but you think that you're doing loads. Someone that has higher expectations of themselves and others around them tells you you're not doing a lot, it's going to change the way that you think. And if you can then increase your expectations, you will then automatically do more. So, I mean, you can do that for trading, you can do that for business, life, anything. Also, um, if you're liking the stream, if you're finding value in the stream, hit the like button. It really does help out. Um, yeah. And obviously, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Uh, next one. This is tip number 35. Take breaks from trading. Now, um... This can be strategic in terms of trading performance on a live account. And it can also be um, kind of for someone that is learning how to trade. Now, in terms of live trading, if you're on a winning streak, let's say you've won three or four in a row, and that's, you know, that's a good winning streak for your strategy. And previously, you know, when you've had a winning streak of three or four, you have a loser, it might be a good idea to have a break because psychologically you're thinking, I'm probably going to have a loser in the next one or the one after that. 
So if you just take a, a short break from the charts, um, take some time to go and do something else, you'll come back to that trading with a fresh mindset, hopefully. Um, and uh, you, you might even make a new winning record, you don't know. So yeah, it's also important to take breaks anyway. Um, but you know, it can be done strategically as well. Next one is to trust yourself to be successful. Um, so I think a lot of people doubt themselves and there's, there's enough people that are going to tell you that you can't do something. So there's no point telling yourself that you can't do it as well, right? Um, you need to be the person that is going to tell yourself you're going to do it, even if every single person that you know is telling you that you can't do it. Um, so you have to trust yourself to be successful and to hit your goals, because no one else is probably going to do that for you. Um, now, you might have supportive people around you, but at the end of the day, they're not going to do the work for you. So um, they might believe in you to do it, but they're not going to do the work for you. So you have to trust yourself. Um, next one is to focus on yourself. And this is again, leading back to shutting out the noise, not focusing on other traders. Just, you know, take one day a week where you just sit down and you focus on yourself. Now, you can do that through um, writing goals down. You can do that through writing a journal of what you've done in the past week and what you want to do next week. Um, you know, there's, there's multiple ways to do that. But focusing on yourself is going to enable you to progress faster. Next one is think about the bigger picture. So let's say i know that obviously a lot of people can do this quite well um but when you're trading live it's it's harder to do so it's very very easy to think in five years i could be doing this 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 but when you're i don't know um when you're trading live and you're trading i don't know 0 0.5 0 0.25 percent per trade and you're making 3% per month, which is really good. It, it's sometimes tricky when you put all that work in to think about the bigger picture. Um, so yeah, just, you know, take some time, think about the bigger picture, think about your 10, 20, 30 year goals and um, create some routines and strong habits. This is obviously, I've spoken about this a ton on the channel, um, so I'm not going to go into this too much, but yeah, just just do it. Just do it. Um, tip number 40. So we've got 10 more after this. Um, this is a tough one, right? This is a tough one. Never give up. Um, it, 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 it is hard because... Um, I've wanted to give up a lot during trading, um, but at the end of the day, the person that doesn't give up can't be beaten. So if you truly want to be trading in 10 years, you can't give up when things get tough. Um, I think, oh, what's his name? Uh... I can't remember his name. Uh, Seth Godin. Seth Godin talks about this quite a bit. Um, I don't know whether he made it up or whether he got it from some, someone else, but I got it from him. And it's basically... Um, it, it, well, it's that thing of if you're mining, it, there's a picture of like diamonds here, isn't there? There's diamonds here. And then you've got like all the mud or the rocks here. And then there's just little old, I don't know, 
There's little Timmy here with his pickaxe. And he's he's hitting away at the at the thing. Um and he, he he's he's getting discouraged. He, he's breaking into it and nothing's happening. Um and <laughs> give me a minute, this will get somewhere. Um and then basically he was saying that people normally give up just before they're about to uh get successful. So what if you know he's been digging for all this time? He's doing really, really well, and he just gives up right at the end. And this was his dream. Um, so yeah, don't, don't, don't give up. Don't give up. And again, as I said this earlier on, um, what's what's measured gets accomplished. So if you're not, you know, measuring um, trading performance, if you're not measuring goals and you know um writing goals down writing what you need to improve on um it, it's not going to get accomplished it, it's like that thing of there's a lot of metaphors today um a ship without a captain right if you if you, i guess not push but you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> if you push a ship into the ocean um it, it's you're not going to get and you say right i want to go here it's not going to get there because it doesn't have anyone to lead it whereas and that's the same thing as writing your goals down so if you don't write your goals down you have no end destination to get to so you don't know where you're supposed to be going did that make sense i don't know um Tip number 42, join the Trade Happy Prop Firm. Um, actually, talking about Prop Firm, it's going to be changing soon. It's going to be changing. Um, so I did speak about this in a previous stream. Um, I guess I'll talk about it in, tomorrow, in tomorrow's stream a little bit more, but yeah, it, it's going to be changing soon. It's going to be changing. Tip number 43 is use a stunning desk. And here's me sitting down. Um, <laughs> I've literally got a standing desk as well that I don't use. Um, yeah, use a standing desk. I, I can't remember the stats around standing desks, but they're good. Um, yeah, let's move on quickly. Um, next one is to trade other people's money. Not illegally. Um, you know, don't go and take, I don't know, cousin's money or whatever, I don't know. Um, but trade other people's money. The reason for this is because it takes your emotion of losing your money out of it, right? If you lose a trade, it's not your money that you've lost. So, yeah, it takes that emotion out of it. Um, now, obviously, there are different emotions in terms of letting the investor down, in terms of making you look bad but if you can get over that you know it, it, it's it's much much better tip 45 get some healthy snacks um so again talking about fitness and nutrition um yeah get some healthy snacks track expenses and income this is really good this is a big one um sit down and write down every single expense literally if a pound goes out of your account you write it down or yeah a pound i guess um pound dollar euro write it down and if a pound comes in you write it down and do this every single month and you know you'll be surprised at how much money you're wasting on useless stuff. Um, yeah, that I can't really stress that enough. Um, tip forty-seven: Listen to some feel-good music. Um, this is a good idea, obviously, just in general, to listen to some good music because it's going to make you feel better. Um, but you can do it with trading as well. So. 
if you um, listen to a certain playlist whilst you're trading and you know you can um, get into a routine of high performance if you listen to those if you listen to that music every single day when you trade if you don't let's say you work out every single time before you trade and you listen to the music if you were to not work out and listen to the music your brain might even i don't know have the same effect as just doing that workout in the same, in the first place because your brain would have um associated the work the music with the workout and with the feeling good don't quote me on that i'm not a brain person um but yeah now this is obviously a big one um one that i tried to do and gave up pretty quickly um learn to code mql4 or pine it's so unbelievably useful right um we are very very lucky to have falc who codes things for us um here, here at trade happy if you're not at trade happy you're gonna have to pay people to do it or learn to code yourself but it's a very very useful uh skill to have very very useful next one is try to read 12 books a year so basically a book a month um this will you know help you dramatic dramatically i don't want to get into all the um all of the uh benefits of reading but um yeah and the last tip tip 50 is to upgrade your trading tools now what i mean by this is you know upgrade your keyboard upgrade your mouse upgrade your monitors upgrade um mt4 with with algorithms upgrade um basically everything upgrade your mind upgrade everything um because you need as many advantages as you possibly can get and if your mouse is slow for example or your keyboard sometimes stops working because of the wires being messed up it's just not going to help you at the end of the day so yeah upgrade your tools and that is it we are done 50 trading tips in one hour that's actually not bad well it was actually 50 trading tips in 50 minutes <laughs>